So somebody was asking about these on uh, on one of the mushroom groups the other day and I said that if I found one I would take some pictures and it's just so pretty this one that I thought I'd make a little video for you. Um, so I'm going to just take it up so that we can see the identifying features. We do need to pull things all the way out to see how we identify them. Um, so this is Cortinarius violaceus. Cortinarius is the biggest genus that we have in the UK, well anywhere I think. It's, uh, it's got thousands of species in it. Um, but this one is just perfectly easy to tell what it is without having to key it out, which I would have to do with most of them, oh, even with right. keying it out or even if I did key it out, even if I had the microscope, sometimes I still find it too hard to get to species. Um, but we can usually get to, to sections and sub, subgenus and things like that. Um, this one is just glaringly obvious and too beautiful to not take a video of. Um, just look at those colours. It's like iridescent on the scales. Um, you can tell it's a Cortinarius because it's just got the very remains of that kind of spiderwebby Cortina, can you see, just kind of floating around there. Um, it's also dropped a few spores. I'm trying to, I saw them a moment ago. Somewhere, kind of. Uh, the spores are this kind of rusty orangey red colour. Yeah, on the edges of the gills there, you can see this like rusty orangey red colour where the spores have dropped. Um, and then one of its other really obvious, lovely features is that it has this great big mass of of hyphae growing from the bottom of it. Um, that's also purpley but pale purple in colour. Anyway, lovely thing to see and just really, really nice to take pictures of. So I thought I'd share it with you.